Okay, guys, I've got everything ready to be primed. I've got my primer there and my base coat. So everything is ready to go. I've put the tape around the axles because I don't want uh, paint to gunk up around there. It's an easy way to uh, stop that from happening. And it's also a nice little handle to hold when you're actually spraying the paint on. So little tip, that's easy to do. And it's, uh, yeah, a nice little handle. So I'll get the uh, base coat on and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, I've got pretty much everything ready to go. It's been primed and it has a couple of coats of TS6 or it's the dark yellow. So it's ready to go, ready to put together pretty much and do some weathering at the same time. Now you can see I've painted everything like the tow ropes and stuff like that. But now what I'll do is I will paint the actual wire itself in a like a, a steel color or something like that and the little barrel cleaning rods here i will paint them in like a timber or sorry a brown color as well okay now we've skipped forward some time and i pretty much painted the model and put it all together now truth be told this model is actually for a client who wanted it painted and assembled and i um, jumped to the task and did it for the gentleman now he only wanted it in this yellow color with not much weathering just some like exhaust soot and stuff like that so it is pretty basic in that regards now if you know me and you've seen some of my other tanks you know that i like them very roughed up and dirty especially i don't really like side fenders and stuff like that i like it to look pretty mean and stuff like that but each to their own now the tools, I've just used basic brown and silver Tamiya paints, um, nothing special, just painted in the same yellow and slightly weathered a little bit with adding some wash to them so they look a little bit different to the body itself. Same as uh, stuff here, it's just basic Tamiya paints, nothing too uh, spectacular there. Now for the back of the tank, nothing too dramatic, just made it look a little bit uh, dirty from the exhaust and stuff like that so it kind of looks a little bit uh, used now this solar tank is very similar to the other I've not weathered it much at all just painted the tools in the appropriate colors and made them look a little bit used and stuff like that but I'm uh, pretty happy how it turned out especially when it's just a basic tank that looks pretty much straight out of the factory so this is a full option to me a Tiger 1 it's got the recoil the muzzle flash and the machine gun flash as well so the transmitter I have here is the ATTAC 4WYD 2.4 gigahertz system. It's the latest release of this one. It works very well with tanks and trucks. Now to turn the tank on, there's a switch here, just switch it on. Obviously plug your batteries in. And we have the formidable Tiger 1 sound, or I think that is recorded from a King Tiger. So with all these kits, how I set them up, left stick here, backwards is backwards, pushing up is forwards, pretty self-explanatory. Left and right on this stick moves the turret left and right. Now this is your steering stick here but it only works if you're giving it input so as you can see if you go full to the left and give it some throttle the wheels so the tracks will spin in either direction same with the other way as you can see there now if you want to do like a slow turn you accelerate and then move this slowly to the left depending on your speed it it will travel in the direction you want it to travel but uh, from my experience Tamiya control systems are probably the best I do like how they are set out like this and uh, I, I really think it's probably the most ergonomic or the nicest way to drive them but anyway let's show you the uh, the muzzle flash so to do that you get this trim here flick it all the way up one quick tap up and for the machine gun slide that trim all the way down and there we go so that is pretty much all the controls for Tamiya tank they're pretty much similar on all 
models. And uh, yeah, they, it's really easy to control and the, the movements are very fine. Yeah, the tire rotation and the way the gun goes up and down, steering and acceleration, it's all proportional, so very good control. No, don't have to worry about anything there. So that wraps it up for this Tiger One build series. I hope you all enjoyed it. I certainly have fun putting together this tank and painting and weathering it. Now, it does kind of look like the Bobbington Tiger. Obviously, it doesn't have the formidable 131 number on there and all the little uh, damages and stuff like that it um, experienced in battle. But from first-hand look, it does look similar to it just because of the color and for the customer this is what they're after so i think it turned out quite well even though it does look like a brand new tank right off the uh assembly line by the exhaust soot and stuff there but overall i i, I like it hope the customer likes it and i uh, hope i get another one because i really enjoy doing these and i hope i get another one for myself because definitely i would weather this puppy up and uh, make it look like it's had a hard life but that's me guys, Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. Keep your eye on the channel for many more videos. If you like the video, like always, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe for more videos to come. Thank you very much.